Hey everyone, this is Lucky7DX. Welcome back to Let's Play J Cocoon 2. In the last episode, we took on... Well, we got all four crystals, actually, so while we could talk to Levon and progress the story, we're gonna go back and, uh, check to see if there's any little story time extra segments to do. I know there are, actually, some extra ones to get. And we also have to get some comma. I actually would have another chance to get the comma if we progress the story. Uh, but... Let's just go ahead and pick them up anyway. So we're gonna head to Wind Patina and get this little shindig started. And it shall be glorious. So we have two Kalma to get here. One Kalma to get in the Water Forest and two in the Fire Forest. We've gotten all the Earth Kalma. I believe that's how we're going to do But there's probably going to be story time in each one. So we're going to be going back to each one to get in. No Kalma yet. So without further ado, as usual, I will be you guys when I find the Kalma. There's our Kalma guy. Yay! He hates us, but we love him. So, uh, yeah, basically, it's a bug, and it's been damaged ball form, and it's also the highest level version of lightning magic. So, basically, we're going to be adding that to our Kalma list. Not that I don't think I'll ever use it, unless I switch Fu over back to the corner again, which I'm still not really considering. I just don't think that's really necessary. But, uh... If that ever happens, which it could, then this would be the guy to use probably for it, because there's not really any other better wind magic. Really, fire is the only one that really dabbles into S-level magic. Uh, in terms of offensive magic, at least. So, keep that in mind. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be able to kill with the wind formation, so I may as well just go into the fire. I'm pretty sure that I'm going to be able to kill with the wind formation, so I may as well go into the fire formation in order to just get the experience to uh, to Tapu. Tofu? I almost th that almost sounded like the tofu, which is kind of funny. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. And <laughs> 13 damage. I'm recording this on Friday the 13th. That's kind of funny. Kind of awesome. It's been a while since I've actually recorded Jake Kuhn 2 as well, for that matter. It's actually been probably about a month because I got really far ahead in my recording, so I can do some practicing ahead in the game. And also, I've kind of been immensely distracted by Final Fantasy XIV, The yeah, Rumble Reborn. Oops! MMOs are distracting, guys. So, also, don't forget, we do have to um, probably merge Gaia at some point soon. I'm not sure if we're going to be doing it yet, but... Or not Gaia, PK. Um, I always confuse the two still. You need to get out of the way. I'm still talking because I'm pretty sure this is going to be story time right here, if there's going to be a story time. I think it's always in the first forest, these ones. And I was correct. So, Agil, I beat you. What might you be doing here? Well, I'm just getting some extra calm, buddy. You have not yet collected the orbs from the other forests. I actually, I have. You must go to the other forest. No, and I already got the orbs, Gil. Oh, you gave me a thing though. That's cool. You have defeated. It is all right now. That I have. That I have. I agree with that opinion. How is it hard to we we beat him? That's okay. Sure, Nico, you're just strange. Yes, Yamu, I already did. He's still alive? We didn't murder Gil, we only murdered Cure. Gil, you're you're not a zombie, are you? What might happen when you get all four orbs? Oh, we're gonna find that one out in the next episode, guys. Uh what does this beast book do? I'm pretty sure I've shown this off before, but I don't remember what it does, and I kinda just the wrong direction. Beast book. Oh, right, it's that one. Also, valuables have got all the orbs! Whoa! They're so shiny and pretty. Anyway, there's another comma to get. I'm fairly sure we're only going to get one story time per thing. It's going to be just sort of, sort of a wrap-up sort of thing. But, uh... In case there's any other story time, we'll cut to that. Also, I'm going to be kind to the comma that we're going to be finding on the next floor. So, ooga booga! There's the comma we're looking for. Uh, okay? <laughs> that's that's a new phrase. I <laughs> wasn't expecting that one. <laughs> Anyways, let's go ahead and fight the little birdie bird. Well, it's not really a little birdie bird, it's a big birdie bird. This is Celine's comma, it's the blind. I mean, I could give that to Celine, but the reason I went for Confusion is because A, it's an extra movement stronger. B, Confusion, I think, is better than blind in most situations because blind only affects physical and doesn't potentially do damage to them. And Confusion literally can impact everyone, including, you know... Magic users, status infectors, stuff like that. So, 
generally speaking, Confusion beats Blind. I mean, Confusion's more, more, or Blind is more consistent against physical opponents, but Confusion is more just all around useful, in my opinion, which is why I do it. Plus, S rank move means extra damage, plus, Change Talent is a great ability. It just seems like all of those things add up to make it just a better option. Because, I mean, when you can confuse your enemies, I mean, or when, when you uh, have Change Talent, you have additional chance to confuse your enemies, so. I have additional chance of inflicting, because that's the thing, because blind doesn't even necessarily always inflict. Whoa! He lived that. All sorts of barely. That is the most slivery sliver of a sliver I have ever slivered. Yes, that is a phrase. Anyway, we're just going to burn all the non-believers and move on for our life. It's probably potentially offensive. Oh well! So that's our comma, and that's really everything I think we're going to find the Windforest. I'll go through the rest of the Windforest just to check and make sure that there's nothing I'm missing, but basically I'm fairly sure at this point that we've gotten everything we needed, so we'll be probably meeting you back in the room of life. And yeah, didn't really find much of anything in the rest of the area except for, you know, some gems and blah blah blah, so... Yeah, we're, we're mostly just gonna be getting Kalma and maybe like one story time per area. That's what I'm kind of anticipating to have happen. So there's that. But let's go ahead and just ask this person if we just turn these things. Dark Crash is kind of okay, like I said. Speed up plus three is not too terrible, but change talents better. And this is actually pretty good. I mean, get off your metric resist by quite a bit. Extra lightning damage. It's all pretty good. You know, speaking of things I can merge with. You are at level 18. Okay, I'm gonna have to keep you in mind, because probably by the end of this whole site sequence, I'm gonna be merging this guy. So, I'm gonna have to keep an eye on him, because that's Thank you. kind of important. Noted. Anything in the lounge? We'll see. Let's just see if there's anything good here, and then we'll, we'll head to the water forest. Well, I need to actually sell some stuff, so I'll probably cut and head to the water forest, but... We got anything good here? Who are, the heck are you? Who are you? Who is this mint person? Am I supposed to... Anyway. That's a thing. But... Okay. That's... New. Not worth. And not worth. We have 1993 reputation. I was four years old then. It was kind of silly. Anyways, I'm gonna sell some stuff. I'll meet you guys in the water forest for some calma and some story time. Oh, here's some story time. You! you that's right. I'm like, Kira's dead. How are we gonna have story time in this place? But this guy does exist. Did you see that thing anywhere? I killed that huh, thing, Mr. Guy. Still can't be chasing the dragon, Kalma. Kira, the incarnation of Camille won't be appearing anymore. Huh? That sounds kind of sad. I see. So you do know something. I get it. This is just your way to try to get me to give up Kalma, honey. Dude, I just no, murdered my friend. Is really not here. Don't be a dick. Forget it. There's no point in sending anything more to this guy. You're depressing, Mr. Man. I'm never gonna give up. I don't care how many years it takes me. Cool, chase a dream that doesn't even exist for all I care. I'm just gonna run a circle around you because you're a silly face. Goodbye, depressing man! Goodbye! There's a comma we're looking for. <laughs> Too bad indeed. So, this guy... Isn't this the version of... PK? That I'm looking for to merge? I do believe it is. So, cool. I forgot that we're going to be getting that in a second. So, that's kind of neat. Um, this is probably the one I'm going to end up merging PK with. Just because it's going to give the most evolutionary points. And it has a decent enough ability for PK. So, I think... Overall, may as well go for it. Uh, so, it is pretty tanky though being a Gara, so we'll go ahead and lower its defense and then kill it the fire formation after we heal up here. So, let's do just that. And this should be, for the most part, I believe what all we're going to find in the water forest. I'm not anticipating us actually finding another story time thing here. So, um, I'm pretty sure it's just going to be like one story time thing at the beginning, and that's really all we're going to get for each area. So, all in all, it's actually not going to be that long of a, at least in terms of total footage, in terms of a, what am I going to be doing? Steal from yourself! You just stole from yourself and... 
Do you still recover HP and MP when you steal from yourself, guy? <laughs> That's a little strange. I'm going to suck my own blood to heal my own health. Although, I mean, you're doing, like, you know, ten times more damage to yourself than you actually are healing, but... Confusion is amusing. Or, I mean, confusing is amusing. Yes, yes, we're gonna go for that. Um, confusion... What the heck am I even trying to say there? That doesn't even make sense. Well, I'm not actually sure if we have one of these guys or not, so I guess I'm keeping this battle in because I just kind of accidentally ran into it without intending to. That's a thing that can happen. So, we might be needing another name shortly. Which I'm kind of running out of names for people that I would want to name these people after, so it's a good thing that we're kind of nearing the point of the game where we're not going to be getting as many of these guys anymore. Because that means I don't have to... This is why I should not necessarily do this whole naming after LP. Those guys' wings are out of sync and it bothers me! We're gonna go in here first just so I can kill one or two of these first. If uh, Tamal targets the baby, then he'll probably. Actually, he'll probably kill either one of them. Or we can just confuse that one and murder it. That also works too. Wasn't nearly as efficient because it totally was kind of. You could have totally killed two Mr. Peoples if you just didn't. If you actually knew how to fight properly, win formation. A bunch of silly biscuits with their total loss and their confusion and their bemusion and your, their delusions and their fusions and their blah 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 and I can rhyme words because I'm Dr. Seuss. Basically. Anyway, what are you guys doing? You're just going to drain my health again. It's just really rude teaching your children how to drain people's health by headbutting them with their little fish face. It's just kind of silly. So, because of the Lord of Defense is probably going to go boom, dead. And then Tamal's gonna be like, hey little fishy, bye bye! And punch him in the face. So, that's the end of that. We'll get an egg. We'll see if I actually need to hatch or not when we return to base. Give me my egg. Pretty sure I've probably gotten one of these already, but you know, whatever. What do you do when they come for you? Ghostbusters! <laughs> Anything? Oh, well, I should be talking because we're actually back at this thing. So, yeah, we're uh, we're back in the room of life, and we're gonna just turn in this one comma. Uh, Petrify Guard is it, it definitely helps against three annoying stuff. Anything that can protect against protecting against poison in the Earth formation is good. So that's actually kind of a worthwhile merge. So yay for us! We're gonna go ahead and get that merge. Let me quickly check and make sure that I don't have a thing before I hatch that. And it turns out I do. Also, Shemar is at level 19. Gonna keep an eye on him because as soon as he reaches 20, he's gonna have to merge. But now it's time for the Earth Force. So I'm gonna go sell the stuff and probably deposit a few things too. And uh, we'll head there. So see you guys in a second. I'm not really sure if we have one of these either. So uh, gonna go ahead and fight one of these guys, I guess, in the case that I do need to get one, then I can have one, and it'll be cool. It's actually be interesting going through this Earth Forest now that I have ridiculous confusion powers and actual offensive capabilities on three different formations. Uh, well, two different formations. I wouldn't call the Earth one really that offensive. The Earth one is not really practical for fighting normally, but when you're fighting, like, in situations where, like, like Beast Hunter battles if you're stuck against a heal wall, for example then the Earth Formation can become incredibly strong. It's it's more of a, a last-ditch desperation sort of thing than anything else. Like, you go in here just to... You go into the Earth Formation when all your other formations have fallen and use its ridiculous tankiness to basically... and high spirits to basically wear out and finish off whatever's left. If, because, I mean, if they don't have, like, the Wind Formation left to really cripple it, uh, it can just sort of steamroll through the remainders of teams. So it's a really good, like, it's a really good just help, I need help, abort mission sort of thing. <laughs> if that makes sense. It's just kind of like, oh, I'm in trouble. Blast ditch effort, gonna just stick in this earth formation with my ridiculous defense and just murder things after three or four turns of the setup. Because once that earth formation gets going, that one attack will probably just start one-shotting things. And unless they're actually tanky as well. And even then, if you're fighting another tank with that, 
Like, you're just going to win by attrition unless they have one of their own, because eventually you're just going to overpower any sort of power they have. Stuff like Mantle can't actually finish you off. I mean, I guess a, ma a combination Mantle and something else would probably cripple it pretty nicely. Mantle does hurt the Earth Formation a lot, but... Why are we talking Earth Formation strategy suddenly in the middle of this battle anyway? Also, level 16 is pretty cool, so... We'll be getting to that merge actually fairly soon as well. But for now, we got a leafage, and we're gonna we're just gonna go find story time because there's no comma to get. And we do have a story time. Kahu, what's up? Hi, I beat you already. Kakona? Once the new girls here, we'll have a new training routine, so we're on standby till then. That's, That's right, they're good. making a new team now. A little rest is good for you. But Kahu, don't you have to go get the orbs from the other forests? That's I already good. told you, we already got them, right? I told Gil that, but... Oh! Thank you for giving me a fan! What... what is this even? Okay... Well, that's a thing! Strange. Well, we're, we're gonna find out in the next episode! Jeez, characters, you're so impatient today! Wait, there is a call I missed? Here goes. Apparently there is. I I thought I had seen that I had gotten them all, but apparently I have been mistaken because apparently there there is Oh, I never got the earth magic one. Duh. Dummy dummy dum dum. So that's what the uh the fully evolved form of the earth magic guy looks like. It's Kind of a really creepy looking tree thing, actually. Honestly, as far as fall forms go, I'm not even really that impressed by it. It's just kind of a creepy tree, like I said. Like, it doesn't even look like that super formidable, I guess. But then again, some of them don't. PKs doesn't look like the most formidable thing ever. Uh, well, I guess everyone else's kind of does. I don't know. I'm just giving my personal thoughts and opinions on this matter, and I know I'm kind of insulting Mr. Tree Guy there, and he's probably crying himself to sleep right now, but, you know, I'm sorry, Mr. Tree Guy. We can't all look beautiful, or powerful, or really anything. You look like you have, like, really awkward leg, giant leg hairs, too. I'm sorry, but you're just... I mean, you're, you're, you're just kind of a tree thing. I don't know. I, I always forget the Earth Magic even exists, because I just never even, like, consider using it for some reason, so... Oh well. Just gonna go ahead and Samakia this guy, and then probably not kill him, which is good. Unless he kills himself right now, which is totally possible, except he's not even going for his magic, so even though he hit himself, he's not really... Or did, I can't even tell if he hit himself or me, but it doesn't really matter, because we're gonna go in here. And the forest is going to burn! Kind of funny how the tree-based enemies in the Earth War, which is supposed to be resistant to fire, which it is actually, but it's still kind of silly. Anyway, it's a good thing I kind of continue to check around because, well, there is a comma here after all, and I'll keep going. Just I'm pretty sure that's the only one I missed, and I missed counted, so we actually do have six comma to get here, but whatever. I'm just going to keep going and see if I miss anything else. Probably gonna meet you guys back in the Room of Life, I imagine, but we'll see. You know what? The Earth Force is really annoying, so I'm gonna actually take this opportunity to finally use a Hide Spore and show it off. I don't know if I actually showed what these do. I don't actually remember, but they basically make you invisible so you can pass through enemies without having to fight them. And they will last essentially for several minutes and or if you complete a floor. So this will essentially let me get through a floor basically scot-free. That's right, you're here to sell things. Anyway, uh, I will meet you guys if there's more story time, which they're based on the pattern. There probably won't be, so more like I'll meet you guys when I'm out of this area. Hey, that's kind of cool. When you have a hide spore, you can literally just steal the egg from the guy. That's hilarious. And we're back in the Jade Throne Room because, yeah, that was that was actually it for the Earth Forest. So, yeah, not the most exciting thing in the world, but whatever. We're going to go to the Room of Life, we're going to go get that one Divine Beast in, and I'm going to check to make sure that the one Divine Beast I got is not one that I need. Hello, creepy tree hair leg thing. Uh, it gives a lot of MP, so, meh. 
Eh, MP is just not really anything too worthwhile. Let me check to make sure I don't have any of these. So it turns out I don't have one of these, so let's go ahead and hatch it. Now I'm just going to need to come up with a name for it, just off the top of my head. Which is just all sorts of kind of crazy. I haven't named one after Cry, have I? I don't think I have, so let's do that. That kind of came off my head, the top of my head really fast. Uh, but uh, Cry, a.k.a. K -K Monkey, a.k.a. whatever else he's called, I'm going to name one after him because that's what I... Can I... where's... Why can't I delete? Game? Let me delete stuff. Oh. Okay, I don't know why it wasn't working, but whatever. <laughs> Moving on. I was a little strange. I think my controller was just being strange for a little bit. But yeah, we're gonna call it Cry, because that's easier to just quickly mention. Uh, while I'm here, Shamari is still at 19. So, let's head to the Fire Forest, finally, to wrap up this thing. I don't have to do the torment, so it's just the comma and any story time that's involved. So nothing too tricky. This Kakona fan's worth 2,000 yen, by the way. No idea if it's worth selling or if it's just a, or if it's something to sell or if it's something I need somewhere, so... Yeah, no idea. There's the comma we're looking for. <laughs> you laughed at me, you're silly. So, it's just gonna be uh, the comma that Fu evolves from, or involves into, so very soon we'll be able to actually have this form of magic damage dealer. Uh, what am I? I'm going to Earth. There we go. Agni Agna. It's not probably what I'm going to give her, actually. I'm probably going to give her the one that's AO, that attacks all three ones, so the Soul Dote line. Just because, at this point, if we're in the middle, MP costs aren't an issue, and I may as well have something that just nukes everything with her massive amount of power. So that's going to be my plan now, because late game, obviously, you know, the a just AoE is better in general, so... I don't need her to focus on single target damage as much as I'm going to need her to target on AoE damage in the future, so... That will be to the benefit of that. Uh, we'll just get the heal and just make sure that they don't lose out on it. You just try to claw my face, Miss Wolf Thing. It's kind of rude. Just gonna, you know, do the not scooter dance anymore because it's no longer really the scooter dance. It's just kind of a thing otherwise. Uh, and then we're just going to hope that this doesn't kill because she hasn't taken da the enemy hasn't taken damage yet, so maybe it can take two hits. That means that the confusion probably will kill her if she hits herself. So, yeah. Okay, you gonna nuke yourself down to death? No, you're gonna nuke uh, that instead. That's that's fine of me. I don't mind taking 40 damage if it means I can get some experience to foo with her own future self. Yeah, having a B rank fire move is unfortunate, but it'll be nice when I can get a nice S rank move as well. Cause that's the thing: the single target doesn't have an S rank one. The AOE though does. Which is actually going to come with a bad ability, because a lot of S-Ranks come with poor abilities, just because to balance it out. But it'll be, it'll be, it'll be good. It will be good. Story time again! Probably the final one today. <laughs> How are you? Woo! Well, well, good to see you. Master, I have finished one lap. It just sounds weird, Nam, being all nice. No, I'm gonna do one more lap. He's determined. Hey, Kahu. Yay, we're friends now. Not gonna lose next time. Okay. I have a fine pupil. I must thank you. You're welcome. Take care. See, Wu's the smart one. Oh, and he also gives us wow. He gives us a calabat. Wow, that's that's generous of him. But uh, he also gives us he, he gives us a uh, er. See, he recognizes that we have all the orbs already. Kinda looks like a rabbit in that book right there. Very old rabbit. He's not like, oh, you gotta go with the orbs, even though you already have them. He, see, see, he, he's just, he's just smarty pants. He's woo. Really, really, what do you expect? He's woo. Hey, there's the combo we're looking for. Kill you. Probably the last, well, is the last combo that we're getting get. And, uh... Probably the last thing these forests to do, although I'll continue to check this forest just to make sure. But based on the pattern, I think we're done for now. But it's Knuckle Chew! Basically, um, we, all, we all know it's, it's the basic bird crash kind of guy, so let's just get our defense boost up here. 
I try to do this one properly. I mean, they're pretty tanky, so I should be able to do a full rotation and get away with it. At least that's the thought process here. So that'll do some. Yeah, that's that did like nothing. I'm fairly sure he'll be able to survive uh, my wind formation. And maybe if he gets confused and hits himself, maybe not. But otherwise, I think he'll be a okay. I mean, the basic burn crash, though, I mean, it, it's still a really powerful single target attack. It hits all, for a lot, so, you know, basic attacks sometimes can be good. Sometimes simple is best, but, uh, I mean, I could put it on someone. It is certainly an option, but we'll see if I someone has something I end up doing. Probably not, because I guess simple actually isn't really that much best. But Okay, he even hit, he can even take a hit by him, they hit him, him hit himself, but he actually hit ceiling instead, which is unfortunate. But that's okay. This formation should finish him off. This strikes to do a lot of damage because I don't think it has as much mag res magic resistance, and indeed it does. Wow, that did a ton. A lot of this game is just figuring out which sort of angle to go at the magic attack or the magic or the physical attacks. Generally, things tend to be a lot weaker to magic, I think, which is why Fu is so scary. Also, uh, Madame is almost close to merging, so. We need to get a certain S rank Kalma at some point to get her. Yes, I just spoiled that there's more Kalma in the game, but you'll see. You will see. So, just because I haven't shown off any of these, because I didn't actually go to them, uh, if you just reach the end of the orb is, it's just a platform and you're pretty much forced to go back to temple and nothing actually happens. But I figured I'd show that off because, you know, I can. So let's go turn these Kalma and finally wrap up this episode and prepare for... What's going to be a very interesting next episode, and I look forward to it immensely. But uh, for now, we're going to go to the Room of Life, turn in these comma, and get ready for the end. So, uh, hello. blah blah blah, hello, I'm doing fine, here have some comma, they're, they're nice and pretty. So, lots of strength. It's a good thing to, it's good to add extra strength and also extra wisdom. They're both good options. I'm definitely going to want to consider both of them, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, in terms of the Divine Beast, are you at level... No, you're not at level 20, so I'll do that next episode. And, uh... Yeah. So, guys, in the next episode, we go to Levant, we tell them that we're ready to fight our inner Kalma, and, well, we're going to do just that. So, this is Lucky70X signing out. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.